welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Jamie and today I'm going to give you a full walk around video on this 2019 Mitsubishi ASX ES ADAS. Now, you're probably wondering what all those letters mean, which I'll uh, actually run you through once we get inside the vehicle. But first of all, we'll start off with the front and run you through the condition inside and out. Starting off with the front of the car, as you can see, you do get fog lights fitted down the bottom, right next to your daytime running lights. As you can see, you get the nice dynamic shield that Mitsubishi's gone with as well in the newer style ASXs. And as you can see, you get those really nice stylish headlights as well that wrap into the body and just give the front of the car a really nice look and a good presence on the road. Now, as you can imagine, for a 2019, this vehicle, especially on the front of the car, does present really well. A couple of things I would recommend on the front of the car is probably getting one of two things or both. Uh, it's probably getting a bonnet protector especially going to contrast really well with the paint of the car and also going to protect from stone chips as this car doesn't have many at all at the moment and you don't want any, want any more further in the future. Also headlight protectors as well because it's obviously cheaper to repair a bit of plastic than it is an entire headlight. We'll come around looking at our first alloy wheel. As you can see this wheel is pretty much in unmarked condition. Uh, as you can see, really nice design that Mitsubishi's gone with as well and on these Bridgestone jeweler tyres as well, they still have good tread left on them as well. So now we'll come down the side of the body. As you can see, you do have this little side garnish on the actual uh, quarter panel there. It isn't actually functional, it's there just to give a better look to the car and make it look a bit more appealing. You also get color-coded exterior mirrors and door handles. The mirrors themselves actually have the indicator integrated into the mirror. And I'll just show you, if you do lock the car, the mirrors will actually fold in every time the car is locked. So really good uh, indication to know if you have or have not unlocked the car, or locked the car, I should say. We'll take a look inside the actual car itself. As you can imagine, being a 2019 and the amount of kilometres on this car, the inside presents really well. There's no major wear on the seats themselves or on the bolsters. In the door trims themselves, all in good condition as well. And where we get in and out of the car, another thing I'd recommend is probably getting a scuff plate. Um, as you can imagine, through usual wear and tear, you might um, start chipping away at the paint on the actual door seal itself. Now, as you can see, the door trim, the plastic, very minimal wear in there as well, where most people kick the doors actually open. Another thing I would recommend, especially with a white car, is to get the windows tinted to the darkest legal tint. As you can imagine, you're buying a white car, the rest of the features are black on the car, but the windows are clear. Doesn't make much sense in my opinion. We'll come to the rear wheel now. As you can see, another unmarked alloy wheel with pretty much the exact same tread on the tyre as well. So again, really good condition on that tyre as well. Now we'll come to the back of the vehicle, probably be the best looking part on the vehicle itself. As you can see, you do get four color-coded reverse parking sensors. You also get that nice blacked out rear diffuser. Do get a factory reverse camera as well, high mount stop light and the rear windscreen wiper as well. Now we'll take a look inside the boot of the car. As you can see, even though it is a smaller size SUV, the actual boot space you get is actually really good. Now under the actual tray here itself, you do get a space saver spare wheel. And as you can tell, it's obviously never been used, which is always a good indication. You also get the parcel shelf as well. Not many people actually know the benefit of the parcel shelf, but once you actually close the tailgate, you can't actually see in the back of the car. Another thing, what tint is good for as well. Now we'll come around to the passenger side of the vehicle, where again, as you'll see, another unmarked alloy wheel. Looks like this tire does have a brand new tire on the actual, um, on the third wheel as well. Your fuel cap is just above that third wheel as well, so that is the safe side of the car. So if you do ever need to fill up, you know you will be on the safe side of the vehicle. Then working our way down again, you'll notice how good the actual paintwork is on the car. Another thing that it probably accessorize the car with as well is probably something like weather shields, especially just to give it a nice stylish look and obviously the benefits of weather shields as well, which always come in handy. Then coming to the fourth and final wheel. Now this wheel you do usually expect a little bit of wear and tear on the wheel itself. And this wheel does have just a minor minor mark on the wheel, it's on the, um, just the alloy wheel itself. But other than that, it does present really good with another good tire. And as you can see guys, with the exterior condition of the vehicle, the previous owner has done a great job of maintaining it. All right guys, now taking a look underneath the bonnet. So what we have here is a four cylinder, two liter petrol engine. Actually the same engine that they run in the Mitsubishi Lancer as well. You do get 110 kilowatts and also 197 newton meters of torque. You get a six speed CVT transmission. You get a 63 liter capacity tank, so a really big fuel tank for the actual size of the vehicle. And you can run that fuel tank, or the car I should say, on 91 or above. Now the attractive thing about this engine is actually the fuel consumption. So on average, you're gonna get around 7.6 liters to the 100K. So out of an average tank of fuel, you're gonna get up uh, around 829 kilometers. 
All right, guys, now taking a look inside the ASX, and this is where I actually uh, talk to you about the ADAS features. But first of all, we'll start off on the uh, driver's side door. You do have all your power window controls. You also have a button here to lock the windows as well. And then you have your central locking for all the doors as well. And just above that, you do have all your mirror controls, and there is actually a button inside the car to fold in the mirrors as well. Now, behind the steering wheel, this is where it gets a bit interesting. So you have your blind spot monitoring uh, button to turn that off and on. So what blind, blind spot monitoring actually is, if you look in the mirror, which I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but there's this little icon of uh, actual two cars. Um, so when someone is actually in your blind spot, that car will actually light up orange to let you know someone's in your blind spot. Also, if you click the indicator why uh, that person is in your, in your blind spot and the mirror is light up, it would actually beep. So you uh, are warned not to actually go. You also have your parking sensors, so you can turn them off and on, and then your front end mitigation warning as well. So if you are going over 65 kilometers an hour and someone does suddenly hit the brakes and you haven't touched the brake at all, the car will actually assist you in braking itself. And under 65 kilometers an hour, uh, it will just give you a warning to say, you know, you should hit the brake. Down below, you also have your lane departure warning as well. So getting too close to the white lines, the car will actually beep you. Obviously, you once you hear that beep, you'll move back over. And then you have your light adjustment as well. So you can actually adjust the height of the headlights. Um, so if you do want to get better coverage on the road, you can do so as well. Now on your right hand stalk, you do have your indicators, your fog lights, also your headlights. Now they're automatic as well. And on the left hand stalk, you have your front and rear windscreen wipers, and they're also automatic as well, which is part of the ADAS package. On the steering wheel itself, as you can see, really nice leather wrapped steering wheel. On the right hand side, you do have all your cruise control settings. On the left hand side, you have all your media controls with your Bluetooth controls down the bottom. Now, moving across into the main entertainment system, as you can see, really nice display that uh, Mitsubishi has gone with here. It does have uh, digital radio, AM, FM radio, it obviously has USB, AUX as well. As I mentioned, it does have Bluetooth and the attractive thing as well, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, chucking the car into reverse, We'll also show you, it does have a really nice display reverse camera with the indication lines to show you if you're getting too close or too far away from where you're actually um, parking. Now you do have a little light here to let you know when the passengers aren't wearing their seatbelts uh, and then obviously your hazards in the middle as well. Down below is where you have all your climate control settings. So there's two, uh, three different dials. The first dial is to select the temperature. The second dial is to select the speed of, or the fan speed and then where you want the actual air to come out of as well. Now you do also have two USBs and your traction control button and obviously you'll always get your 12 watt socket as well. Now another thing Mitsubishi's done good as well is actually put a really deep uh, storage compartment underneath the actual main center console itself. So if you did want to chuck your phone in there and obviously plug it in to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can do so as well. As I mentioned before, your six speed automatic gearbox. You also have two cup holders and a manual handbrake. Inside the nice leather up leather wrapped armrest itself you do have two little compartments to get this little parcel shelf and then you get the main storage compartment in the actual center console itself with another 12 volt socket as well now I would just get the camera person to pan around the interior and show you the condition of the vehicle I mean as you can imagine with only 16,000 kilometers on the abdominer the inside of the car still presents like new uh, there are no major marks or scratches or anything in the interior that would stop you from buying this car now what we'll do we'll jump outside the car and we'll wrap up the video so hopefully that's given you a really good representation of not only some of the features on the car but also the ADAS package as well and the condition. Now the number to call if you'd like to book a test drive is 9907055 but just a couple things before I leave you. A couple things I'd like to talk to you about is actually some things to actually protect your investment. So I know I did talk about the added accessories but another thing I would like to highly recommend is that you do talk to us about the glass coat that we will offer on this vehicle. Now you are invest investing a good amount of money into the car itself, so you would like to protect your investment, especially if you are going to own the car for a long time. So what the glass coat actually gives you is a lifetime warranty on the paintwork of the vehicle and unlimited claims. So if anything does affect the paintwork of the car that are included in the plan, you will actually be covered. And if they cannot fix it on site, they will pay for the whole bonnet or what the panel is affected to be resprayed for free. Another thing I would like to talk to you about is this is still covered under manufacturer's warranty but if you believe you're going to own this car longer than the manufacturer's warranty we do offer an additional mechanical protection plan that goes for an extra five years up to 200,000 kilometers of mechanical and electrical protection gives you unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim and also 10 years of premium roadside assist now of course these are an additional cost but if you do use our in-house uh, finance Julia Maria business managers will show you once you actually add these added features in how minimal it will actually affect the payment over the term of the loan. Now, the number of call again, 9907055. My name is Jamie and thank you for watching.